Federal Minister of Sports Samuel Duggins and Nevis Island Administration Minister Troy Liburd expressed much support to the TDC Track and Field Interschool Championships that will be held on Nevis for the first time. Promoted by Zingis and Nevis Athletics as a historic multi-city championship with events taking place at the Kim Collins Stadium on St. Kitts 14th and 15th of March with the main event at the Mundo Track Long Point Nevis on 16th and 17th March. At the 11th March press conference held on Nevis, the Ministers of Government and the NIA expressed confidence for the main event slated for Nevis. But I also can't complete this without giving thanks to the Nevis Island administration. Because here it is, we, are, we have a federal government, yes. And oftentimes we hear a lot of discord in the air about the differences between St. Kitts and Nevis. In this moment, we are now hearing about the unification of St. Kitts and Nevis. And that is important for our people to recognize that we are two islands, but one absolutely beautiful paradise. And our people have a delight in working together. And myself as a Federal Minister of Sports, I always have a wonderful time whenever I interact and meet with my colleague and brother on the Nevis Island Administration to execute on anything. And I remember when this discussion came up, he was the first one that came and said, Minister, we are ready. If you need us, we are ready. And we had a few meetings, and here we are, ready to go forward. And so, here I am, delighted as ever, and wishing the championship every success, but also wishing our nation a wonderful weekend this weekend. I'll be there myself as usual, enjoying and looking at the meat. But most of all, I'm quite sure that we will all be there because this meat is set to be probably one of the bigger ones we've seen in the Federation. Definitely, we're happy to be a part of the whole inter-school makeup. Um, we know it's easier for two schools to come over to sink it. I mean, it's, logistically, that is a lot easier. but. Um, certainly, we have a we have a top-notch facility that's only going to get um, better as we continue to build out the infrastructure. So certainly, um, we can have a partnership where you know we go back and forth from one island to the next. Of course, it's a good experience for the um, children, um, a lot of whom have never you know traveled into Ireland. So it's a it's a good experience for them also. So. We would be happy, certainly, to be a part of that. SKN Athletics President Delwyn Delaney encouraged athletics fans on both islands to come out and see the usually highly competitive inter-school athletics So the anticipation and the excitement for the championship is there, and it, it, it will be forever there for the TDC inter-school. Inter-school, nothing brings, um, as the minister said, nothing brings people together like sports, and nothing brings excitement like track and field. So that goes without saying. Um, being in Nevis is just something now personally say, let's see what will happen. But as it relates to the track and field, I mean, as, as the, um, the PRO said, the, 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 the track is, is top tier. Mm -hmm. The track is top tier. I mean, nine is one of the few uh, nine lanes track we have in, in the Caribbean. I, I don't think Jamaica has a nine lane. A lot of countries don't have a nine-lane track, and it's a Mondo track. It, it, it holds well. I mean, we have seen the performances week in and week out where the records are being broken and so on. So the facility is top tier. In putting the athletes first, we had no choice but to bring it here to Nevis to ensure that the, ne the athletes succeed. The event also provides SKN Athletics the income needed to send a national team to the Caribbean Games. Glenn Bart reporting for SK Newsline.